keep it secret, it's a different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Today we have Serge Ibaka's replica build, Air Congo. Now, before we get into the video, though, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It's liking up the video, puts your video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put your naughty game for my daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into this video, okay? So, we do have the power forward position here for Serge Ibaka. He's right-handed. He is number nine. If you don't know who Serge Ibaka is, he's basically one of the good two-way stretches that we have um, for the longest time. Obviously, he made his um, biggest run when he was with the Thunder with, you know, obviously with Westbrook and KD when they made that run to the Western Conference Finals and lost when they were up 3-1. I mean, we all know the story to that, but Serge Ibaka has been really, really good player for many years, um, and he's been serviceable, I guess the best way you can say it. But since he is 6'10", this build is actually going to be pretty dope. 6'10", 248, 7'5", wingspan, body shape, I went to fine, okay? Now, when it comes to the actual attributes... 85 on the close shot we talked about this all the time 85 on the close shot will give you fearless finisher on gold it'll also give you fast twitch on gold it'll give you master on gold also and then on top of that again 85 close shot is your post hook so you're actually able to have a decent post hook but who can who cares like about the post hooks really unless you're trying to do some post moves but we want to go 70 on the driving layup to get the dominant big man layup package then we're actually going to go 86 on the driving dunk. Now, by going 86 on the driving dunk, you get a tier two gold, limitless takeoff, and post survisor on silver, and you'll get an 80 standing dunk. Now, with this 80 standing dunk, the beautiful thing about it is that you are able to get the pro big man contact dunks. So, again, you not only do you get the driving contact dunks, but you also get the standing contact dunks, okay? Then we're going to go 63 on our post control. And what's really good about this is that you do get a silver post control. Um, I mean, post spin technician. So that's actually pretty dope. You get back down Punisher on bronze. Again, this is not necessarily saying that you're going to be utilizing these badges, but there is an option there if you want to kind of be cheesy, play around, and just switch your badges around. Um, the shooting is going to be really good too. Um, 83 on the mid range, and then you'll get a 78 on the three ball. So it's not the highest, you know what I mean? It'll be nice to get like an 81, but still a 78 three ball is nothing to frown upon. You're still going to be able to get claymore on gold you get green machine on gold you still get catch and shoot on silver and blinders on silver yes by going 81 you get on gold but a 78 three ball should be more than enough to be able to hit consistently um you know it's you should be able to hit it consistently enough okay um in my opinion mid-range is gonna be really good also this is your post fade so keep that in mind okay now the playmaking there is no playmaking here so we all know like a lot of these you know these guys in the nba they just don't have like high pass accuracy so the way that the games make it is like there's no need to go and put attributes in these things when it's only going to be like a 30-something. Um, it's not going to be much of it. But if you watch my D12 um, video that I have coming out tomorrow, you'll see that I'm able to make outlet passes without any issues with no passing. So, I mean, that is something to keep in mind. But at the same time, for the longest, I felt like I was like, dang, I need passing. I need pass accuracy. But really, the way that you're playing as a center, you're just throwing the ball to your, your guard at most times. You're not really doing nothing. So, just keep that in mind. I'm able to play with my D12 with no pass accuracy. And again, if you're able to do that, that's great. And if there's something that you that's a game changer for you, then obviously you just don't need to make the build because there's no pass, pass accuracy. But I love this build, man. Interior defense is a 93. We'll go 54 and 45 on perimeter defense and still respectfully. We're also going to have a 99 block. Now, this is huge because that 99 block will give you anchor on Hall of Fame. We know how important that is. You get pogo stick on Hall of Fame, chase down artists on Hall of Fame, and workhorse on Hall of Fame. Now, you get a 94, right? 94 defensive, I mean, offensive rebound, which gives you Hall of Fame offense. I mean, box out beast and rebound chaser on gold. And then, of course, 82 on the defensive rebound. And that is going to be how this build is working. So, obviously, he has a very high offensive rebound, lower defensive. But at the same time, this build is going to be pretty dope. I mean, like the finishing, contact dunks, standing, big man, driving. You get um, good shooting and really good defense. And then the physicals are strong also. Anything with 70 speed as a center is going to be game-breaking. So, you'll be able to get that 70 speed with the 55 acceleration. 
89 strength which again is nothing frowned upon because that does give you gold bully and you also get gold brick wall so that's huge 87 vert is absolutely insane and then you finish with a 91 stamina so so many things about this build you can like to me personally if you are not somebody that's so deterred by pass accuracy this right here is going to really really change your, your the game up for you because you get to do so much and again as a center your setting screen is rolling to the basket or you're just um, in a corner or spotting up shooting threes and again pass accuracy doesn't play the biggest yes of course it is nice to have right you, you can be reckless if you have pass accuracy but since this one doesn't just play a certain differently like you just don't need to be acting crazy with the play with the passing right if they pass your ball in the corner take your time let the guard come closer to you pass it to them right don't be trying to shoot contested shots and trying to pass out right when you get the rebound just throw it to the guy closest to you and run up the court right you know what i mean yes yeah, so it is some positive pros and cons to that but you got to make that decision but everything else is absolutely insane okay um then what we want to do is this you got sharp you got rim you got glass takeover all right now with the sharp and limitless you got spot up and i went with the limitless this is really good now you could also go a situation where you want to get like maybe pain intimidation again if you're playing wreck maybe gone not maybe but you definitely would want to do glass clearing dimes as your primary so by going glass clearing dimes in your primary it basically boosts your pass accuracy and you can do you can r1 l1 really well up the court but if you're not if you don't have that remember just to tell your guard do not go past half court when you get the rebound you need to be passing to them on your side of the court okay but um again it's your preference all right um and then as they say right here we finally get serge Ibaka's air congo it'd be nice if he would have came out earlier because i definitely would have been making this one because um who want who wouldn't want to have a stretch that has a replica build that's actually pretty dope so here you have it serge Ibaka's air congo okay so now what we're gonna do is this we're gonna test this build out real quick we're gonna get to 99 and of course we will then get you out of here so let's max this out here boom um so then what we're going to be doing is we want to get a uh, fearless finisher and limitless takeoff down here again man there's so many different ones to go with but i definitely say you should core posterizer and then from here i would probably go rise up just because i want to get that ability dunker in the basket you do have the option too to get um fast twitch so that's something else to keep in mind if you want to get the fast twitch um but i would uh go here and um with area wizard for the lobs and stuff like that whatever but there is ability there here what i will go with again is going to core this um, you know going corners um specialist if you're going to be spot up there will be something to have um again mini musician and space creator are also ones if you're going to be trying to do a phase in a post but i would probably just go like this come down here core catch and shoot and get blinders so we'll have these here and there um ant is always good to have and then maybe we'll go corner specialist okay um limitless range if you want to do that you could but i doubt you'll be spotting them that far out i think this is really good here no playmaking here and defensively i think you should get all your badges and just go crazy here because you're going to need a lot of badge points so you probably want to double core so you can go here and then you can go you know maybe core brick wall if you can core brick wall and anchor then you're able to get you know this and pogo stick all right but you can have all three down here um if not then i would just recommend just not getting pogo stick maybe you don't need brick wall because you're going to be your guys iso win so you're just a spot up um then i would go here i would definitely try to get menace and i'll go and get my workhorse um and then again like i said man this is you really want to stay down here because oh my, not my box out we can get box out duh so we got box out boom boom workhorse menace anchor rebound chaser um so yeah so then maybe with that last one we can just go with uh let's just go interceptor i guess maybe that might help but anyway, there you have it, my nephews and nieces. This is Serge Ibaka's replica build, a.k.a. Air Congo. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this build. But other than that, this is your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with another banger, man. You know, when I say back soon another banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.